Okay. Mm. That's a good question. Mm. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. 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 Tell me your name, your year, and where you come from. Okay. My name is Saki Ko. I'm a sophomore at ICU, and I come from Kobe, but I used to live in Australia. Okay. So tell me your experience of having an LGBT friend, and how you felt about it. My first friend who was an LGBT would have been in high school and she was bi mm. but I don't really have any problems with it. Yeah. In Australia, it was really common, like especially lesbian people were really common at my school for some reason. Like, you would see girls making out everywhere. <laughs> okay, okay, that's fierce enough. Okay, so how does coming to ICU affect your your uh, stance on like LGBT issues? Okay. Um. Or like, do you have any friends who are gay, lesbian, transgender yes. in here? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Many. <laughs> Many. <laughs> mm. How did that affect how you viewed those issues? Well, oh well. I kind of realized the problems that they face because I never really thought of the problems that they face because mm. and it, probably because my perspective of them was I only had like my own perspective of, of them and I thought that was like the, the perspective that everyone else had too so I didn't really notice the fact that um, like there is that they have problems living mm. in the world. And I guess like going to ICU and having like taking gender classes and becoming closer friends with people who are LGBT kind of widened my view. Okay.